the girl, and my dad does cook seafood gumbo, but I've heard that the best comes from the cases. Tell me a little bit about what y'all do here. Well, this, uh, of course you can look at the kettle and tell that if you're a serious gumbo cook, you have to have a serious gumbo kettle. Right? That looks like a serious gumbo kettle <laughs> this right is a, there. This is a 200-year-old kettle, and of course, the secret is cast iron. The secret is to make the perfect glue, that oil and flour combination, to cook that's going to thicken and color the gumbo. And then, of course, the trend of the onion, celery, bell pepper, and a lot of garlic and seasoning. And of course, we have all wonderful Louisiana Gulf seafood here, so how can you not have a great bowl of gumbo? I hope your dad does that. You are making my stomach grumble <laughs> just talking about it. I'm sure my dad, my dad has nothing on yours. Don't tell him I said that. Uh, no, I won't. Maybe, maybe I'll hear it. Maybe I'll hear it. Maybe I'll hear it. I don't know. But I'm so excited to try it. Thank you so much. Well, thank you. Have you tried it yet? I haven't tried it yet. I've been seriously looking all day long for the best gumbo, and I think that I found Well, this is it. We have 10,000 portions here. 10,000 portions are selling for $5 each that's going to the tornado of Tuscaloosa. So it's for great cause and a great game. Come think of a better day to do it. That is a great cause, and you know, this has been a great game day. Thank you so much for coming out here. We really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Enjoy the gumbo. Thank you. And you know a lot more about it than I do, so please, will you, will you tell me what's going on here? Is there a gumbo competition today? I thought that was just a football game. It looks like it. And I'm pretty sure it's Alabama versus LSU still, right? Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. You know what? Today was all about helping families. Today was all about helping the charities of Nick Kids and helping all the, the families from the tornadoes and really just kind of bringing a little bit of salt and light to the, to, to the world. And we're very blessed to be a blessing to others. So for us, it was really about coming here with two seriously rival football teams that's showing the respect and the love that we have not only for Christ but for what we do to help others. That's really what it's about. Today. You know, that's the great thing about SEC football is you always have that rivalry, but when it comes down to it, I mean, you come together as a family, and, and today is a perfect example of that. So we really appreciate it. 100%. 100%. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks so much.